the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, today is a day of joy. We do each Sunday. Today we gather in the presence of the Holy Spirit, and we give thanks and praise to God for the gift of Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, whom we offer our love, our honor, our thanks, our entire lives. Today, we will welcome Lana to the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. You all here present, very important in these rites, for it is the entire church, those in this community, as well as the entire body of Christ, that is beyond the walls of this place, that accepts Lara as a member of the Roman Catholic Church. Who seeks entrance into this faith community? And Lara, what do you ask of God's church today? And what does faith offer you? We stand with you, we pray for you, Lara, all of each other. Today, because of the rite of the baptism, we will go on with the readings immediately. Just Let us pray. Grant Almighty God, to the yearly observances of Holy Lands, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The intentions of these Holy Mass are the following. For Kate's health, for our families abroad, for Lara, who receives today the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and first Holy communion, and also on the ninth anniversary of the Redentorist Father Superior and for all the priests. The first reading, a reading from Book of Genesis. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, See, I am now establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you. All the birds and the various tames and wild animals that were with you and came out of the ark. I will establish my covenant with you that never again shall all bodily creatures be destroyed by the waters of a flood. There shall not be another flood to devastate the earth. God added, this is the sign that I am giving for all ages to come of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you. I set my bow in the clouds to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the cloud, I will recall the covenant I have made between me and you and all living beings, so that the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all mortal beings. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truths and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. 
Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, and he teaches the humble his way. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, Christ suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God, put to death in the flesh. He was brought to life in the spirit. In it, he also went to preach to the spirits in prison who had once been disobedient, while God patiently waited in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which a few persons, eight in all, were saved through water. This prefigured baptism, which saves you now, it is not a removal of dirt from the body, but an appeal to God for a clear conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and the powers subject to him. The word of the Lord. One does not live on bread alone, but every, on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert and remained in the desert for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God. This is a time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, it's always nice in this corona time to, to see old faces again after some time. We've just read the, the story of Noah, and probably we've read this or heard it many times. Everything begins when God uh, is very sad, uh, so much sin in the world and decides to send the flood. Noah and his family were chosen to make an ark and save the animals. And as we know, rain came and they were saved floating on the waters. First, Noah sends a bird and he doesn't return. And then a second one, and he comes back with an olive branch. That was the sign that the waters subdued them and they could go out. And you see immediately after that what begins is a, a new world, it's a new beginning. And we read in the, in the scripture, this is the sign that I am giving for all ages to come of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you. I set my rainbow in the clouds 
to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. This is the original meaning of the rainbow as a sign on the sky, a sign of God's covenant with humanity. It is also a reminder, take care, because sin was the, the cause of the destruction and uh, sin and evil will make you unhappy. In the last period we hear many times and we say to ourselves, to others, take care. And this is what the Lord tells us today, take care. If we have to take care of a virus, not to get contagious by a virus, much more we should be aware of sin. We cannot be happy when we voluntarily sin and offend the Lord. This time of Lent is a time of conversion and change for the better. We also heard this, your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Good and upright is the Lord that he shows sinners the way. Lord, show us the way. And what is your way? The way of the Lord is worship the Lord. That's what we do on Sundays. Take care of your parents. And parents, take care of your children. Do not engage in pure in impure actions for yourself with others. Love the truth. Respect other people's name, other people's possessions. This is God's will, God's will for all his children. And when people sin, God does not forget us. He, he comes and saves us. Today, we are also read in the letter of St. Paul. Christ suffered for sins once. And in the spirit, the Lord calls us who had once been disobedient while God patiently waited in the days of Noah during the building of the ark in which a few persons, eight in all, were saved through water. And St. Paul says also that this prefigures baptism, which saves us now. Lara will be baptized uh, in a few minutes. And baptism is dying to sin, be born to a new life in Christ. And one of the beautiful things of um, receiving baptism when you're an adult uh, is that you realize very consciously that you begin a new life in Christ. It is a way to holiness and the forgiveness of sins. The Holy Gospel invites us to, um, to pray as Jesus did. Very briefly, it's stated, the Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert and remained in the desert for 40 days. What did Jesus do there? He, he prayed, he offered sacrifices to the Lord, for his father. And, but it's also said he was tempted by Satan. Also in our lives, brothers and sisters, we are put to the test. And to be faithful in difficult times, we need to be solid and strong. And where does this solidness and strength come from? It comes from prayer and from the spirit of sacrifice. A few weeks ago, I read an interview with a Professor here in Amsterdam, uh, one of the universities, professor of psychology, and he said more or less the following, and I was surprised with his clarity. He says, I send many persons back home when they come to me. Their only problem is that they have struggles and ordinary difficulties for a normal life, and they do not know how to deal with them. They have been raised thinking that all should be available without effort. Those don't need a psychologist. They just need to learn how to deal with their ordinary difficulties as part of our human existence. And I think we all know that our life brings struggles and difficulties. There's nothing wrong with that. How about you and me, brothers and sisters? Do I realize that suffering is a part of life and certainly of a person who wants to follow Christ as a true Christian? Jesus says that 
If you want to be my disciple, carry the cross of each day. Come and follow me. For instance, also in the gospel we read, after John had been arrested, means John the Baptist was taken prisoner, and in the end he was put to death. Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. This is a time of fulfillment. I don't know if you've read the, the letter of Pope Francis about the time of Lent, but he invites us to use Lent to grow in faith, hope, and charity. You could say that's call of Christian life. But then in practical terms, he, he says, this means almsgiving, prayer, and fasting. And um, maybe a few things in this regard. Giving alms, for instance, is part of the Holy Mass. Due to COVID, the, the collection is done at the, at the end with a basket that you put at the back and people drop their, their donation or to the bank, but it's an important part of the ceremony because giving something that costs us an effort. It's a part of sacrifice and worship. Regarding prayer, Sunday Mass is uh, also in Corona time, uh, a very good way to, to worship the Lord. And I would say also during the week, if it's possible to attend Mass, once in a while, why don't you try it during this period of Lent? You will see it will make a big difference. For saying the rosary, maybe some of us may have at home a, um, a rosary, it's a bit full of dust. Could be a good moment so to take it out and to, to say the rosary. Prayer to Our Lady, but when we say the, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We pray to the blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. These are some ideas about prayer. And finally, giving up something that will cost a bit of effort. I think we all realize at times that we use, we use our phone too much. We're a bit struggle to, to leave it behind. Don't you think it's a very good time this time of Lent to say, turn it off. Do it more frequently on airplane motors and you will see that no accidents will happen. And that can help us to, to be a bit more detached or social media or Netflix or whatsoever. At the end of Lent, brothers and sisters, we shall be happy when we can say, as we read today, I see the Lord's rainbow on the clouds as a sign of the covenant between me and the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today also because of the baptism, we do not pray the, the creed because it is included in the rite of baptism and we shall all renew our baptismal promises. Let us pray to Almighty God for Lara, who has asked for baptism. The Lord has called her and brought her to this moment. May he grant her light and strength to follow Christ, to desolate hearts, and to profess the faith of the Church. May the Lord give her the new life in the Holy Spirit. We are about to fall down this water. There is a short listening and sing it 
along with the, with the counter. Father, you give us grace to sacrament for signs, to tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water. You have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, the Spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning with us. At the waters of the Red Sea, you let Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from the side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and I'll seal for it the fountain of baptism by the power of the Holy Spirit. Give to this water the grace of your Son. But in the sacrament of baptism, all those who you've created in your likeness may be cleansed from sin and rise to a new birth of innocence by water and the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the waters of the spot. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to the newness of life. We ask this for Christ our Lord. Now is the renewal of of baptismal promises and especially uh, the baptismal promises for Lara and the answers in English are quite easy just yes I do. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? And you as the godmother, shall you try to help uh, Lara in her first steps as a Christian with your prayer and support? And then we can all give answers to these questions just with I go. Lara, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, 
died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lara, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. Receive this baptismal garment and bring it unstained to the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ, so you may have everlasting life. Lara, we receive the, the light of Christ. You've been enlightened by Christ. O oh, how is the child of the light, and keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Lara, born again in Christ by baptism, you have become a member of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us. The Spirit sent by the Lord on his disciples at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to be baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit you are to receive to make you more like Christ and help you be witness to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be an active member of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. Let us pray to God our Father that we that we'll pour out the Holy Spirit for the newly baptized to strengthen Lara with his gifts and anoint her to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be your helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lara, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now we have the, the bidding prayers, as usual.
in a very special way, we shall pray for uh, Lara as uh, newly baptized. We should pour forth prayers at all times, dear brothers and sisters. But above all, in these days of Lent, we ought to watch more intently with Christ and direct our intent petitions more fervently to God. The response will be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the whole Christian people, that in this sacred, sacred time, they may be abundantly nourished by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For the whole world, that in lasting tranquility and peace, our days might truly become the exact the acceptable time of grace and salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For sinners and neglectful, that in this time of reconcilia reconciliation, they may return to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For ourselves, that God might stir up in our hearts a version for our sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant we pray, O Lord, that your people may turn to you with all their hearts. From this day in which we have renewed our baptismal promises. So whatever we dare to ask in fitting prayer, we receive by your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. As you know, the, the collection cannot take place right now in the usual way is at the back of one of the baskets and eventually by bank transfer and when you do it at home. Thank you. Right, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is very right and just, our reading and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining 40 long days from earthly food, food he consecrated to his fast, the pattern of our Lenten observance. And by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpents, let us to cast out the leaven of malice. So that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, to what end we acclaim. Holy. Pray to him today the Eucharistic prayer number three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've gathered uh, created right gives you praise. The Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you gave life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather our people to yourself. The, from the rising of the sun to the setting of your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. With this command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which is given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, with one resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, on the oblation of your church, and recognizing 
sacrificial victim of his death, you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you, so may obtain an inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Jose Maria, Saint Alphonse, and with all the saints. Almost most constant in the session in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice for our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with the servants Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. Your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, and they are passing from this life, give kind of admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Christ our Lord, who bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command of all by divine teaching, we're here to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. We shall grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be overseas from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who will send to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Depend on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and we shall grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord with you always. Grant each other a sign of peace. Now it's uh, the moment of the uh, Portuguese communion. Lara, who just received uh, baptism and confirmation. And we ask the Lord always to be able to receive them with, with the same purity and devotion of his mother, our lady. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called 
to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on the tabernacle, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. One does not live by bread alone, but the every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. First, uh, Lara and uh, her godmother will do the communion, the first communion. Then uh, they will come through the center. But the rest, please come forward through the sides and back to your place to the to the center.
Let us pray. Renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity is strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth, through Christ our Lord. First of all, congratulations to Lara and Andrea, you're present. And let's say COVID permitente, they will get married uh, in, in a few weeks, months. And then just one short announcement that uh, for the, the young Catholic group, Amsterdam has a meeting online at a quarter to eight about a very interesting topic about uh, how the, the study of uh, astrology of the, the firmament can help us also to, to be a bit more humble. So many things we don't know. If you're interested, send an email to info at wealthykerk.nl and you will be invited. We ask the Lord huh, his blessing for the, the week and I wish you all a uh, a very good end of this Sunday. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord.